All right, today we're doing 10-7, which is special segments of in a circle. Chord segments, when two chords intersect inside a circle, then each chord is divided into two segments called chord segments. So AB times BC would equal DB times BE. So, uh, segments intersecting outside a circle. A secant segment is a segment of a secant line that is exactly one endpoint on the circle in the figure. Um, AC, AB, AE, and AD are all are secant segments. A secant, seg secant segment that lies in the exterior of a circle is called an external secant segment. In the figure, AB and AD are external secant segments. Each side of the equation in theorem 10.16 is the product of the lengths of the exterior part of the whole segment. A special relationship exists among secants and external secant segments. So 10.16, if two secants intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the product of the measure of one secant segment and its external secant segment is equal to the product of the measures of the other secant and its external secant segment. So AC times AB would equal AE times AD. And really it's just AC is the whole thing times the external, and then the whole thing times the external. They'll equal each other. Be sure to multiply the length of the secant segment by the length of the external secant segment. Do not multiply the length of the internal secant segment or chord by the length of the external secant segment. An equation like the one in theorem 10.16 can be used when a secant and a tangent intersect outside a circle. In this case, the tangent segment or segment of a tangent with one endpoint on the circle is both the external and the whole segment. So if a tangent and a secant intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the square of the measure of the tangent is equal to the product of the measure of the secant and its external secant segment. So our formula would be JK squared equals JL times JM because the JK is equaling, or it's being treated like the internal and the external, or the whole thing and the external, excuse me. Flipping to the other side here, we've got some examples right here. So let's find x, assume that the segments that appear to be tangent are tangent. So with our formula, we're gonna be multiplying the two interiors. So we'll be multiplying four times four equals eight times x. And we're just solving for x. So I get 16 equals eight x divided by eight, x equals two. So that's all we're doing on that one. This one, doing the same thing, we'll have x plus three times x plus 4 equals x times x plus 9. And so we're going to have to FOIL. So we'll have x times x, which is x squared. x times 4, which is 4x. 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times 4 is 12. Same thing on this side. We've got to distribute that x. So we'll have x squared plus 9x. We can go ahead and combine like terms over here. So we'll have x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals x squared plus 9x. And now we can start solving for x. I'm going to subtract x squared from both sides. So I get 7x plus 12 equals 9x. Subtract the 7x. So I get 12 equals 2x, divide by 2, 6 equals x. Number 3, this is going to be one of those tangent ones, so we're going to do jk squared will equal jh, so the external times jg, times the whole thing. JK squared, so we got 6 squared will equal JH is 4, JG is, or J to G is 4 plus X. <clears throat> so when we simplify, we get 36 equals, and we distribute our 4, 16 plus 4X. I subtract 16 from both sides. I get 20 equals 4X. Divide by 4, x equals 5. All right, on this one, we're going to have AD, so the whole length, times the external. So AD times AB. 
And the same thing, AE times AC. And we're just plugging our stuff in. AD would be this whole length, which would be X plus five. AB is just five. AE would be 4.5 plus 7.5, which would be 12 times uh, AC, which is just 7.5. We're gonna go ahead and distribute our five. So we'll get five X plus 25 equals, and 12 times 7.5 is 90. Then I'm gonna subtract 25 from both sides, so I get five X equals 65 divided by five, X equals 13. All right, a piece of broken pottery found at an archeology span site or archeological site is shown. QS lies on a diameter of the circle. What was the circumference of the original pottery round to the nearest hundredth? So we're kind of just ballparking this, but we'll have 10 times 10, because you're gonna be interior stuff equals six times X, because we don't know what this side will be. It's been broken. So we'd have 100 equals six X. I divide by six. So X is gonna equal 16.67, okay? So then our diameter, since X is on this side, the broken part, okay, we just sit with the diameter, diameter, would equal 16.67 that we found for X plus six. So that would end up equaling 22.67. So then we just use our circumference formula. C equals pi D. C would equal pi times 22.67. So we get 71.18. And that's all for 10-7.